Good vision is a significant part of our lives. It enables us to perceive the world around us clearly and is an essential part of our daily activities, from work to leisure and even our overall well-being. However, alarmingly, a large portion of the population, that's 30% of Asia's population alone, suffers from myopia or nearsightedness. A myopic person then becomes dependent on glasses or contact lenses to be able to see clearly. The good news is that science has made great strides in all aspects of life, including eye health. And in the past few years, there have been various newer technologies that have emerged in the refractive eye care sphere that can help you achieve clear vision without the help of glasses. Last year, one such cutting-edge technology entered the Indian market which can help you achieve clear vision without the help of glasses in just a few seconds. To help us understand these technological advancements in the refractive eye care sphere, I'm joined here today by Dr. Rajesh Bhatia, who is the Chief Medical Director at Chandra Super Speciality Eye Hospital at Kumtinagar, Lucknow. Uh, Dr. Bhatia also has extensive experience in doing surgeries that have helped his patients achieve uh, clearer vision without the need for uh, glasses. Welcome to the Quint, sir. Thank you. To begin with Dr. Bhatia, there has been a surge in the number of people needing glasses in the recent past. Uh, does this have anything to do with um, the rise in uh, screen time, especially among younger people? Yes. See, uh, the primitive man was long-sighted, what we call as hypermetro. And now with the modern man, has more amount of close work to do. So the modern man has become more nearsighted. And nowadays, in the last 10-15 years, the population has, is now more glued to the screen, whether it is a laptop or a mobile or a tab. So now the nature also modifies accordingly. So now the population is turning more myope or nearsighted. So, and besides, with more amount of uh, time being spent in front of the screen, there is more dryness in the eyes. So the people keep rubbing their eyes and because of the rubbing, the myopia increases. Both the myopic, myopia and the myopic astigmatism as well, which is what we call as the cylindrical error. Right. And what about someone who wants to get rid of their glasses, for instance? What are the latest technologies available that can help them achieve this? See, all are laser-based technologies and they are applicable only after the age when a person attains the age of 18 years. means. Once the growth of the body is almost complete and the number has stabilized for a few months, then all, all these procedures, they come into play. So they are all laser procedures and they are all done on the cornea. I would like to show you on the model what exactly is the cornea. So this is the model of the eye. From here the light goes. This is the cornea or the transparent uh, uh, structure in front of the front of the eye. The light, light goes from here. This is the natural lens which turns opaque with increasing age and it is called as cataract and then this is the retina where the image is formed. So all the laser procedures for removing the spectacles and contact lenses are done on this cornea. So uh, these uh, laser procedures are actually they are there from last 25 to 30 years. Initially it, it was called as PRK then came the LASIK and then LASIK had certain advancements in terms of uh, the customization, what we call as the customized LASIK and then came the contour of vision and then we have a, another set of very good procedure called lenticule ex extraction and in that now we have the latest uh, procedure called SILK by Elita from the house of Johnson & Johnson which is one of the largest and the biggest pharmaceutical and surgical com company all over the world. Right. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit more on the silk technology that you mentioned? What sets it apart from other laser procedures? What are some key benefits that people can expect from it? First, I would like to tell you about the full form of the silk. Actually, the silk procedure is actually smooth incision lenticular keratomyelosis. This procedure is done by a very sophisticated machine called femtosecond laser. Actually, this is a fifth generation femtosecond laser and it's a very fast and very powerful machine 
which uh, uh, which has got very smooth pulses which are uh, you know given over the cornea and it creates a very small biconvex biconvex is like this a biconvex disc called lenticule from the middle of the cornea and it is removed through a, through a very small 2 mm incision from the surface of the cornea unlike this is actually a, a flapless procedure and the lasik which was which was being done till now is a flap based procedure so this is a, this is this is the major difference between the two because the flap based procedure is done on the front surface of the cornea so being on the front surface or the superior portion of the cornea it cuts more of the corneal nerves and so the dryness induced by lasik is much higher in terms of incidence in comparison to the dryness which is in being induced by silk since it gives you it you are making a very small cut say around 2 mm in comparison in a when you are creating a flap in a cornea it is around 17 mm so there is a difference there is a huge difference between the size of the incision which you are with making with the help of laser on the surface of the cornea right uh, could you tell us a little bit more about the outcome from uh, the silk procedure um, you mentioned that it causes less dry eyes but also uh, what is what has your experience been with the procedure and also your patients experiences have they shared anything with you see first of all it has got a very good range of correction you can correct from uh, from one diopter to almost minus 8 diopters of sphere and almost up to 4 to 4.5 diopters of myopic cylinder or minus cylinders so it it has got a big range secondly when you are not when you are treating the middle portion of the cornea rather than on the surface of the cornea so the nerves which are being cut are much lesser in number so there is less dryness induced so the rehabilitation is faster and first of all the shape of the cornea which uh, shape of the lenticule which is being removed is biconvex this biconvex shape follows the shape of the cornea so the visual rehabilitation or the visual recovery is very fast almost next day the patient gets almost 6 by 6 or 6 by 6 plus vision which you call as supervision then there is one more important difference between silk and rest of the lenticular extraction and the lasik as well there is no lag period in focusing like in rest of the procedures there is a lag period when you are looking from distance to intermediate distance that is the middle distance what we call as it's 80 cm to 1 m where we are working on computers uh, mobile or when a person is working in the kitchen so when 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 you, when you have to see the objects placed on the slab or when you have to see the dashboard of the car this is the intermediate distance so whenever you have to focus from distance to the intermediate distance or to the near there is always a lag period for few uh, weeks in other procedures whereas whereas in silk because of this unique design of the lenticule which, which is a small disc which we take out from a small 2 mm incision from the cornea this unique design decreases or uh, the lag period to a great extent so the visual recovery is faster and you get a very good vision uh, almost the next day right and speaking of recovery i also want to talk about the recovery period um with your traditional uh, laser procedures there is a time period for which you can't wash your hair and where you have to also um you know be a little more careful you can't get sweat you have so asked a very uh, good question because this is one of the major differences uh, between the procedures which were there till last year and now where like this silk procedure has come into play Uh, it has a very big advantage that it is a very fast recovery after 24 to 48 hours where in a after a silk procedure you can start having your head bath you can resume all your heavy physical activities like your sports or your gym or your boxing whatever it is or you can go and play your cricket as well uh, whereas in uh, the flap based procedures like lasik this there was restriction for head bath for almost a week and then we used to we always ask the patient there has been there that the heavy activities are restricted for good 2 to 3 weeks and like in silk after say 5 uh, to 7 days you can go for swim but here after lasik there we uh, i mean it was always the recommendations were that you should avoid swimming for almost a month because the recovery was little slower 
Also, what has been the experience of patients in the long term? Do you have to be more careful? Are your eyes more sensitive? If you say get an injury, eye injury, is it prone to more damage? Here, would I would like to uh, say something like it is little a little more scientific. That the the strength, the major strength of the cornea is in the anterior one third. The front one third portion of the cornea gives the maximum biomechanical strength to the cornea. So when we are creating a flap in LASIK, this weakens the cornea. Whereas here we are not, we are sparing the anterior one third of the cornea. We are actually treating the, we are creating a lenticule or the disc shaped structure from the middle of the cornea. So when the anterior one third of the cornea is spared, the strength to the cornea remains to a great, great extent. So uh, even a decent amount of trauma, which can dislodge your flap in a case of LASIK, Will, will not make any, will hardly have any adverse effect on the silk surgery. Right. So would you say that silk is the top of the shelf kind of laser treatment for vision correction that is there right now? Yes and no. Yes, because definitely it, it gives you more strength, the dryness is lesser, the visual rehabilitation is faster and you have uh, minimal restrictions immediately after the procedure. But there are certain cases where you have to have a mix of the two procedures like here we can create flap with the help of silk also the best part of the like when we are doing a lasik we have to we have we are using two machines first we create a flap with the help of a femtosecond laser and then we reshape the cornea with the help of eczema laser so here the flap which was being created by the femtosecond laser if you are creating with the help of the elita machine this elita flap is far, far superior in comparison to the conventional femtosecond laser technologies because uh, this gives a one micron spot size. So you have bridge less and a very silky smooth dissection. So the flap is of very high quality. It is highly precise and very safe when we are creating with the help of elita. So this elita machine not only helps you in creating a lenticule by doing silk, it also helps you creating a flap when you are doing the LASIK or the contour vision also. So when we are doing a combo with the help of the Elita machine and the Eximer, it also has a great edge over the conventional technologies. And when we are doing silk, it is definitely better uh, and definitely it is the, the best among the uh, lenticule extraction techniques. All of this information can be quite confusing and overwhelming. So Dr. Bhatia has kindly taken out some time to show us the silk machine and tell us how it works. Actually, this is uh, the silk by Elita. Elita is the technology from the house of Johnson Johnson. It's a very beautiful, one of the fastest and the most powerful uh, femtosecond laser. It's a 10 megahertz machines. Uh, actually, the previously the machines were hardly of one uh, megahertz and this is of 10 megahertz so you can uh, imagine the amount of energy it has so it is a very powerful machine a very powerful laser very accurate and it has got a very silky smooth uh, cutting uh, and that they, that's why the results are actually the patient gets very silky smooth vision also so here the this is the table where the patient lies and here we uh, actually process the parameters of the patient. We feed in the, the, the parameters of the patient, decide what is to be done and then here the, the, these are the controls and here the patient lies and it takes uh, around two, 10 to 12 seconds per eye to treat uh, by this machine called Silk. Or elita. So there are two procedures which are done on this elita machine. First is the silk procedure, but which is the smooth incision lenticular keratomyelitis. Here we create a flap right in the middle of the cornea, and we remove it uh, through a very small incision of two millimeters. So that is a flapless silk by this machine called elita. And then there is another procedure uh, where we are doing LASIK with the help of silk. Uh, machine. Here we create a flap 
of around 90 microns in thickness with the help of silk machine and then the patient is shifted to the adjacent eczema laser. This is the world's most advanced Contura Vision, the, uh, the 2024 version of Contura Vision from Alcon. And here we do uh, the reshaping of the cornea in the LASIK procedure. So the, we can do two procedures on the silk machine. One is a silk procedure where we are creating a lenticule. And then we can do a flap procedure uh, with the help of silk and then the second step of the flap procedure which is the LASIK is done with the help of eczema laser on this Contura Vision version 2024. So the whole procedure just takes a few seconds? Yes, in each eye it is actually all the procedures are totally bladeless, painless, no injection, no stitch, no bandage and hardly any recovery time. In the silk procedure we create a lenticule on this machine and then we have to remove the lenticule under the microscope through a very small incision of 2 millimeters. So that is a silk procedure and once we are doing the contour vision, first we create a flap with the help of silk machine and then the patient is shifted to this machine where the eczema laser reshapes the cornea by this contour vision machine. And this eczema laser not only corrects the refractive error, it improves the quality of vision by the Contura Vision uh, uh, software. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Bhatia. But before I let you go, is there anything that you would like to tell our viewers uh, who want to get their vision corrected? No doubt. Uh, I would say that all the laser vision correction procedures are done by the latest technologies. Like whenever you are going to buy your TV or a laptop or a mobile, you always go for the latest technologies. Because what the late, late, latest technology offers you? The latest technology gives you uh, the speed, the accuracy and the safety margins. So whenever you are going for the latest technologies, all these th three things come into play. Similarly, because all these laser procedures are technology based, one must go for the latest technology available. So right now, like we have the silk, so one must go to the hospital which is having those procedures. Like the hospital which is having silk and the contour vision, one must go to those hospitals where the doctor after examining the patient is going to decide which procedure will be the most suitable. Either you can go for a silk or you can go for a combo of silk plus contour vision that you are going to create a flap with the help of silk and then you can do the contour revision or you can go you can go for a lenticule extraction with the help of silk so it is the technology but one must uh, let the doctor decide which technology is more suitable suitable for that particular patient right well, thank you so much, uh, all of you as well. And just to reiterate, if you do want to get your vision corrected, do consult a qualified ophthalmologist who can help you explore the best option for you. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Bhatia, you. for joining thank me. You.